Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth so fear discretion is advised but if you're not into that or weird stuff in general this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit out the video here. No harm, no foul but I'll remember our time fondly. <laughs> We have a good old fashioned try on and I filmed this out of order because I needed to start <laughs> getting my makeup done because I gotta go to work now. I know, no fun. But in today's video, we have a lot of new products to talk about. We have the new palette from Lethal Cosmetics along with their brush set. We have the new Christian Audette collaboration, the new Rare Beauty highlighter, the new Chantecai face powder, a new primer from Ritual Defeat, along with some stuff from Huda Beauty. This is uh, a lot of newer stuff. And this is a completed look. I know, I ruined it. <laughs> But if you want to see how I turned myself into a bug queen for the boardroom, keep on watching. I go through a lot of emotions in this one, specifically with the foundation. Spoiler alert. <laughs> it was touch and go. <laughs> Anyway, before I get all Andy Rooney and literally just start yelling about my job because I love doing that, a word from today's sponsor. This episode of me being a sleepy, sleepy garbage baby is brought to you by Blissey. Since discovering Blissey, I have fallen deeply in love with this brand. And when I say this is a game changer, baby, this is a game changer. Blissey offers 100% mulberry silk pillowcases that are completely natural, hypoallergenic, and designed by a team of experts that does wonders to your overall health while you sleep. These cool to the touch pillowcases, which by the way are machine washable, very, very easy to clean, not only does wonders to your hair, which <laughs> my hair's been looking good lately, just saying, <laughs> but they're great for your skin as well. So while Blissey has over 80,000 verified five-star reviews, and over 1 million Blissey customers and counting. If you still feel a little unsure taking the plunge with me and the silk revolution, know that Blissey offers a 60 day trial with a money back guarantee. I know we are all in the thick of holiday shopping. Unless you're like me, then you're pretty much almost done. <laughs> Not to brag. <laughs> Blissey makes for an excellent gift for a loved one or yourself. Honestly, the best gift this holiday season is the gifts that you give yourself. So why not give yourself the gift that's gonna keep you looking and feeling your best? Like, come on, no brainer. They come in an array of colors, but so far my favorite has been this one. Like I said last time, it's giving me 90s fantasy, okay? <laughs> I remember reading Teen Beat like it was yesterday, okay? <laughs> But besides the beautiful colors, they're also really nice accessories as well. Whether you're bougie like me and you need an eye mask or you're bougie like me and you need a silk hair tie. Trust me, once you go silk, you will never go back, okay? Quote me on that. So take the stress out of holiday gifting and get everyone the gift they never knew they needed. Right now, Blissey's offering up to 45% off site-wide using my link. Just make sure to place all the orders by December 16th to ensure that they will arrive on time. So again, all orders placed before December 16th will arrive in perfect timing for your holiday season. Thank you again to Blissey for sponsoring today's video and y'all do yourself a favor and get a good night's sleep, okay? These pillows, oh my God. If you run hot like me, game changer, baby, game changer. Cotton who? Ugh, get out of here. Silk all the way. So let's go back to little old me <laughs> when I was red faced and just coughing up a storm. I'm sweet. Well, good morning, my little babies. I have a lot of meetings today. So I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna play with a lot of new products, which in hindsight could end badly. <laughs> or it could be the best thing that has ever happened to me. I don't know. But um, yeah, let's just kind of jump into it because I can't be dilly-dallying today. And there's a lot of new stuff uh, that I have recently got that I haven't had a chance to play with. Why, you ask? Because my job hates me and everyone's quitting and I'm getting more and more and more and more work piled up on my plate. <laughs> so I'm just trying to keep it together, okay? I'm trying to keep it together. That said, I did my eyebrows first because my eyebrows are usually like the longest thing and plus I kind of wanted to watch Real Housewives of Miami while doing it and it didn't disappoint. The last five minutes of that show, especially the last episode, episode four, fuck me. Um, so if you are a fan of that show, Talk about it in the comments. What the fu fuck? Okay. That said, um, I think what I want to start with is covering my base because it's really red. And due to my allergies, I can't stop coughing. And every time I cough, I turn red. And I just don't want to see that anymore. I just, I'd rather see a pasty potato. Okay. <laughs> I'd rather look like my fucking wall right now than to see any more splotchy red skin. So what we're going to do is we're going to try something a little bit different today. Well, yes, we're going to be using the Ritual Defeat Thorn Oil. There was a new product that was released around Black Friday and I haven't even played with it yet. So unfortunately, 
unfortunately you cannot get this available right now, but this will actually be available in 2023, the summer of 2023. So this is a super, super first impressions of a product that's not gonna be here for another like six or seven months. So this is the Creature of Light Soft Glow Enhancer. There are three shades, but we're gonna use the lightest shade, which is called Opalescent Creature, which I think is a perfect fucking nickname for myself. <laughs> now you could totally use this on its own. If you do use this on its own, it comes out in this white color, but as you start to massage it in, the white color dissipates, kind of leaves you like this really beautiful, which I feel like you can't see because I'm so goddamn white and my lights wash me out sometimes. You see like this really beautiful kind of like pink pearlescent glow. Very, very pretty. Now, in reading the instructions, it says, you know what, if you want something super alien slide, like super, super hydrated, super alien-esque, like take me to your leader so I can fuck him, then you should combine the thorn oil with this. <laughs> Bitch, that's what we're doing today. Because if I am going to be suffering, having to do so much work and having so many fucking meetings, which by the way, all could be a fucking email, I might as well blind these motherfuckers. <laughs> in my team's meetings. <laughs> Yay! So we're just gonna take a little bit of this ritual to face thorn oil, gently pat it into the skin. Ah, oh, how are you kids doing? How's your December? Are you done with your shopping for holiday stuff? I am pretty much done. There's nothing else I really need to get or anything like that. Actually, that's totally not fucking true. I just realized there's a whole crop of things I didn't get. All right, I'll do that later. <laughs> I feel like I am just running on empty, but also going like a hundred miles an hour this fucking month and it's annoying. And I'm sorry that the videos are kind of, actually, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm putting out quite a few videos, but uh, I wanted to do a little bit more, but that's just not fucking possible. I'm exhausted, I'm exhausted. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little pump of this. All right, that's what she looks like. And I'm just gonna see how I'm like, Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Ooh, I feel like a futuristic sex cyborg coulda, woulda, shoulda. <laughs> uh, what a career that would be. <laughs> Hi, I'm a sex robot from the future. I like this, it's very pretty. And it's very, very, very glowing. Holy shit -icles. Um, It's just kind of funny because it's just like, I see these like pockets of like pink and kind of purple around my skin that's just really giving that kind of alien, esque super futuristic slut glow and i'm here for it so so far so good but what i need to do though is actually put a little color corrector on because we're gonna try a new foundation today we're gonna try the thing that i picked up uh during black friday because huda beauty had an amazing sale so we're gonna try the glowish multi-dew skin tint i don't know we're gonna just fucking throw caution to the wind and hope for the best with this one um but yeah i really like how my skin looks so it looks pretty good so i'm just gonna take a little bit of um the thing i've been kind of just really using the uh, cc pair from dr jart I love this as um, a color corrector. I just think it's so pretty. It really neutralizes my redness and it doesn't really fuck up foundation. So it's been always really nice to kind of pair it with. Other than work slowly suffocating me, I'm doing pretty good. Can't complain. Actually, I could fucking complain, but like who cares, right? I feel like everybody's kind of in this boat. I'm just doing as much as humanly possible without having a fucking break. So it's like, why complain? We all feel it together, so I will shut the fuck up. But man, oh man, I'm tired. And I feel like things will go back to normal for me, hopefully work-wise, um, mid-February. So it's like the next couple of months is going to be <laughs> just a little intense. <laughs> Whatever. This always happens. We'll make it through. We will make it through. All right, so I feel like um, pretty good. I look pretty good, right? Pretty fucking glowy, and I love that. So what we're gonna do today is actually try to primarily use this brush set. So Lethal Cosmetics came out with a whole brush line, and I have yet to fucking use them. I've, all I have done is touch the bristles and they're nice and soft and I love how they look. I love how they feel in my hand, but I don't know how they work. So we're going to try a couple of the brushes today. So today is more of like a first impressions, but I will make an update at the end of the month to let you know if I'm still loving them or hating them or what have you. So uh, this one's kind of an interesting one. This is the 120. This is their foundation brush. Very small and it's actually a very unique size. It's kind of a little bit wide, but also comes to a little point. I'm excited. Let's Let's give this bitch a whirl. <laughs> I've never been so much more excited in my life. This is gonna be too dark for me. Fuck. Okay, we're gonna try it, we're gonna try it, we're gonna try it. So I'm gonna take a little, you know, I mean, I feel like maybe from your perspective, it might not look super bad because I can't tell, obviously I'm looking at a monitor, it looks fine, but you know what? Actually, no, it is a little bit, it's kind of a little dark. Also, did it really go on? <laughs> 
I mean, it is a skin tint, so I expect it to be kind of light. So we're gonna try to build this bitch up, but see, it's kind of like yellowy. Definitely a warm undertone. Something I'm not really liking at all. Okay, it, like, I feel like nothing's on my face. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like this just really, there's pigment, but then as I start to like brush it into the skin, maybe it's just really light. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, I feel like it's just really light. Uh, all right, I mean, I'm not mad at it. Like, I, I do like lighter coverage options. I don't know why I thought it was just gonna be a little bit more pigmented. It's weird because it's kind of warm and it's a little bit dark for me. I just see kind of like splotchiness of just like a very off-putting beige color. Um, Ooh, I don't like this. Okay. Mm. I guess like the good thing about this is that I don't really need a sponge. <laughs> I'm trying, yo. This, um, hmm. That scared the fuck out of me. Let's try a little bit more. But I think this might be a situation where we use um, a high coverage concealer to just give us a little bit more coverage. Uh, but I mean, I have some skin tints though. Like the Summer Fridays one, I feel like that gives me more fucking coverage than this thing. Brush wise, I like the brush. The brush is good. It's soft. And I feel like while I am having technical difficulties with the foundation, it is applying Ew, that's my hair. Hi. Hi ew. Okay. <laughs> While it is applying the foundation, it is applying it nicely. I'm not really noticing any brush marks or anything like that. I just don't think I like the foundation. <sighs> Motherfucker. All right, we're gonna add a little bit more. <laughs> we're gonna see. <laughs> we're gonna see if we can kind of try to build this up. Just a little bit more. I don't think we can. I think no matter how much I put on my face, it kind of looks the same. <laughs> Uh, if anything, now I feel like I need a sponge because I could kind of see the product sitting. So this is obviously a me issue right now. I probably just didn't need to put on this much because it's not really doing anything, but whatever, I digress. Okay, <laughs> hold please, let's get a sponge. Okay, maybe I kind of judged this a little bit prematurely. No, I didn't. <laughs> I feel like just adding the sponge kind of just, I don't know, remove some of the product. I think the brush is probably the best way of application. Also, I really don't like how it's sitting on my nose. It was like on one side. It looked fucking real dry. Ew. I didn't even put powder on my face. I mean, granted, I am using another primer too, something that is a little bit, you know, different. I also haven't used this on its own, so it could be a couple of things, but right now, um, it's creating some weird bi Oh, fuck you. Okay, it's creating a lot of buildup on the nose. Don't like that. I can see my redness poking through because I'm getting mad. <laughs> So love that for me. Uh, but I will say though, I still look like a glowy cyborg sex demon. I like that, but I'm not liking how this <laughs> how this looks on my nose. So we're gonna cover it up with a lot of concealer. I don't have any new concealers. I'm just gonna go in with one of my favorites. Uh, this is Bobbi Brown. This is the skin concealer. I love this one. This one's really good. I'm just gonna put it right there. I'm just gonna put it right over here. Cause I just see the redness more or less over here. I'm gonna use the foundation brush again. Oh yeah, I really like the brush. I think the brush is really awesome. I like the bristles and I like the shape of it. It's a unique shape. That looks a little bit better. Definitely covered up some of the redness that I wanted to cover up. So not bad, not bad at all. I feel like everything else from Lethal is like best used as like a powder. So I am going to, uh, I'm gonna use a different brush today to use my, I love this thing. This is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in Light. I figured since my base is kind of light today, I might as well go in with like a lighter coverage option for bronzer. But this is fantastic. And it's one of my favorite things that I found this year. I'm gonna go with my Sonya G Mini Base Brush. I just, I love how natural this looks. This is so perfect for those that are like, you know what, I really don't like bronzer, but I don't wanna look like I'm dead. <laughs> this is probably like the best product out there for that. Since I don't really have a new concealer either, I'm just gonna go in with one of my favorites. It's discontinued, it's from Colab. I think it's discontinued, I can't find it anymore. Um, but this is just such a great hydrating concealer. And I'm starting to do a little bit of a declutter in my makeup again, because there's more shit that I can get rid of. I was like, ooh, you know what? This is still good. I'm gonna use the fuck out of it because once this is gone, this is gone. 
So what I want to do now is take a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder. And I'm just going to set, just set my under eyes with that. All right, we're looking pretty good. So I think the next thing I want to use is a new powder. And this is from Chantecai. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? I guess I was just trying to do like Charlotte Tilbury and Chantecai. It just doesn't go. Chantecai. That probably sounds more appropriate. So this is the Lotus Perfect Glow Powder. So it's supposed to be like the blur powder. Um, I have used it a couple of times and I'm still, I'm on the fence about it. I'm trying to figure out how is this different from the blur powder. I don't really find it to be super glowy or at least have a soft focus glow. I don't know. Like I, I'm just trying to figure out the difference between the two. So anyway, I am going to take the large powder brush, which is number 100 from the Lethal Cosmetics brushes. And we're just going to swirl and I'm going to gently pat into the face. It definitely toned down some of the shininess, but the glow that's there, it's definitely not from this powder. Uh, <laughs> I can say that confidently. <laughs> it's definitely the combination of the two glowy primers is the reason why I look like a cyborg. Um, a sexy cyborg, but a cyborg nonetheless. Uh, but I like it though. My skin looks super fucking healthy. I love Chantecaille powders. I love them. I don't know what makes this super different from the blur powder. Every time I use it, I keep thinking, oh, okay, this is gonna be the time that it's gonna be a little bit different. And it's not, <laughs> it's not. I do wanna go in with um, this blush brush though. And I wanna see if I can kinda get into this area a little bit better. Cause I like how big that powder brush is, but I don't wanna like overtake my brows. See if we can just add a little powder over yonder. I like how this looks so far. Pretty fucking cute. So the next thing I want to use is, these are technically not new to me anyway, because I have used these before, but I love the glowish blushes and I am super fucking excited to have more of these. Actually, should we try this? Oh, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't do anything with blush right now because I don't know what my eye looks gonna be <laughs> and that could completely clash. So how about let's switch gears and let's go into the eye look and then we could kind of figure out a blush situation. Lethal Cosmetics recently released two palettes. You have the Evergreen and then you have the Metamorphosis. Both of them are super beautiful, but the one that I want to use today and it should be no surprise at all is the Evergreen palette, which I haven't even swatched this bitch yet. Look how good this looks. This looks so good. So I kind of want to put all of this all over my face, <laughs> all over my face, but the other palette looks like this, which is still super beautiful. Very, very pretty. You know me, you know I'm a green bitch. We're gonna make me green today because I gotta show these motherfuckers who's boss. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my Kaleidos, the Tone Activator Primer. I'm gonna focus on one eye look right now only because I, I am racing against the clock <laughs> as always. But all right, let's see. What do we want to do? There's so many good shits in here. Ooh, okay. We could do that multi-chrome-ish kind of a situation. Ooh, that one's kind of fun too. I think that's the winner. I think that's the winner. Ooh, that one's fun too. Fuck. Ooh. Ooh, that's fun too. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Less fun. <laughs> It's pretty, but it's just, it's less fun. All right, I think what I want to do is do a little bit of that lime green color as my crease color. I feel like that's going to be really pretty. I don't know. We're going to throw caution to the fucking wind and we're going to try it out. So I don't think I'm going to be really be able to use any of the eye brushes, not for putting something in my crease because they're a little bit too big for my hooded eyes. So I'm going to go in with my Murphy number 13, my tried and true. I'm going to go into this electric yellowy lime. Super pretty. So far there's no fallout, which is great. Lethal shadows could be on the messy side. And so far, not noticing anything unusual. All right, laid down pretty good. I think what I wanna do actually is go in with this green in the crease. You know what, I don't think I'm gonna use that blue. I'm gonna try to make an all green look. So I'm gonna go in with the reference number 14. I'm just gonna put a little bit in at a time, only because I don't want to deal with any fallout, this is gonna be the shade that would probably fuck me up if I go in all fast and loose. <laughs> so I'm just gonna slowly blend that color into that yellowy lime color. And so far, we're looking like a bog queen dream. Love that, super, super pretty. Go back in with that first brush. We're looking good so far. I am gonna go in though with the number 200 diffused blending brush. This is all right. It's too flimsy for me. It kind of feels like it's going all wonky. I'm like, I'm not, I don't like that. So 
not a fan of this one. Yeah, it's too, I want, I want my bristles to be a little bit stiffer. It doesn't have to be like fucking hard or anything, but like I want them to not just be like, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's doing that and I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Don't give me wacky inflatable arm flailing tube man like <laughs> that's what you're fucking giving me and I don't like it. I don't like it. So far we're looking really really good looking really cute. I'm gonna go in with this dark green at the bottom here. I'm gonna go in with the number 215. This is the shader brush or shading brush from Lethal. Oh wait I did it the wrong color. Oops my bad. Oh I like this brush. This brush is good. Laying that color down. Laying down very very beautifully. Again no fallout so far. Knock on wood, but I'm taking it pretty much all over my lid. We're gonna be a dramatic swamp queen today. We're gonna be not a dramatic swamp queen. So far looking really fucking cute. Just saying, just saying. I'm actually gonna go in with this one. This is a packing brush, but it's kind of thin though. I wanna see if I can use this to apply shimmers. And you know what? I'm going to go in with the shade down here. I was gonna go in with the blue shade, but I think it's gonna throw everything off. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of NYX glitter glue. All right, make sure that base is pretty sticky. Damn, bitch. <laughs> Damn, that looks good. Okay, okay. Bitch ain't playing today. All right, all right. I see where you're coming. All right. Nobody better fuck with me today. That's for goddamn sure. I just look like a badass bitch. You're welcome. <laughs> I like this. This looks good. So I'm just going to go in back over with uh, the same brush that I used, that dark matte green. And I'm just gonna just go over the edge of that one just to try to make it look a little bit more seamless. But uh, listen, so far so good. I'm gonna use a rougher number 15 just to blend the outer corner. Okay, like, I mean, I look pretty fucking sweet. I am that bog bitch and I love it. You know what though? I wanna see actually, I wanna try to go in with this darker green over here just a little bit to see if I can put it. Yeah, I, I don't think that added anything. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought like, oh, well maybe I can kind of do a little bit of a, ooh, a kind of a gradient. I don't think it really did anything, so. Now initially I kind of want to put galactic goo because I feel like it, obviously it's gonna work, but I don't want to do that. I, instead I want to put orange. I love green and orange. It just, it works. It works. It's Halloween, bitch. <laughs> Actually, no, fuck it. We're gonna go with Galactico. I kind of have to. I feel like I have to. This is what I'm super excited about. This is the 240 pointed liner brush from Lethal. I always love a good liner brush. I feel like this one is just gonna be super good. Pretty fucking cute. I'm just gonna add a little bit. I'm gonna go in with the detailed brush, the number 230, and I'm gonna go in with this purple shade, just in that lower lash line. I'm gonna keep it really, really close. I don't wanna go super dramatic, so I think I'm just gonna leave it like right there. And then we're gonna add a little bit of mascara, which I'm still playing with this one. This is Kelly Ray. I don't think I like it very much. I don't know, like I was kind of expecting more from it. Hasn't been amazing. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon, because I actually really like how this looks today. Lately I've been kind of finding it to be clumpy, but not today. I'm just gonna take this light shade up here and I'm gonna pop that on in the inner corner. Give a little bit more sparkle and pizzazz. And uh, yeah, I think she looks pretty cute. So we're gonna do it to the other side and then we're gonna come back and finish off with blush and highlighter and a lip and then we're gonna keep on keeping on. Hi. So I realized the Huda blushes are kind of peach. I don't think they're gonna really work, right? I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite things. This is from Bare Minerals. This is the Gen Nude Bronzer. Oh, so good. So this is in the shade Kiss of Pink. That's pretty, I like that. I like this as a blush brush. So this is the number 115. The bristles don't feel super flimsy. They're stiffer, but not uncomfortable. And they're blending the product really beautifully into the skin. You like that. So the next thing I'm gonna put on is some highlighter and Rare Beauty came out with the Positive Light Silky Touch Highlighter. All I did was swatch it. This bitch is pigmented. It's so good. It's so pearlescent and pretty and just, ugh, it's so, so blinding swatch wise. Obviously we're gonna see if it works on the face. Um, so that said, I'm gonna take this brush, which is the highlighter fan brush to 125 and yeah, okay, so, uh, yeah, uh. <laughs> um, she pigmented. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> oh, God. Fuck me. This is fucking, pi oh, wow. Okay, I feel like we need to match the energy on this side. We're gonna buff it out, but. <laughs> I am an alien slut goddess. So I'm gonna take the blush brush and I am just gonna, okay. <laughs> 
person. It's very, 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 very pretty. I love it. She is fucking glowy. She's not full of glitter. So if you like that alien slut moment without the glitter, babe, you can totally achieve that. This looks good. Why am I putting it on my nose? It's 2016. That's why. <laughs> So last but certainly not least, we have a new lip. And this is the Jessie X Cassie Lee Christian On Deck collaboration. Look how beautiful this is. I love the box, so pretty. The Jessie and Cassie collection. Oh, nice. Okay, so there's a unisex ultra shield lip balm and then there's a lip color. Meet Wendy Wu, an ultra chic all season nude lipstick. I love a good nude. And then we have a lip gloss. Okay, so, all right, so we have the lip balm. We're not gonna use a lip balm for right now. So we're just gonna use the glow gloss and the lipstick. I love, 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 love their glow glosses. I think they're so beautiful and if if you're looking for a formula that is not sticky, super comfortable, oh yes, this is so good. Look no further. I don't necessarily know if this goes. <laughs> I don't think this goes a lot well. Super cute. This is very, very peachy. Ooh, I love the glow gloss. It's so, so pretty. I don't think this goes with it. Also, um, <laughs> this portion of my face is pretty red because I have horrible allergies and I cannot stop coughing for the life of me. I wish I could do a montage of me coughing, hacking up a lung, uh, but that would gross the shit out of me. <laughs> So um, that's why my face is red, because <laughs> uh, my head is about to pop off from all the fucking allergies. That said, we're gonna take this lipstick off, but I like it. It's super comfortable. If you know Christian Audet lipsticks and you know exactly what you're working with, this is pretty, very, very pretty. It just doesn't go with this fucking Swamp Queen look. Actually, you know what? Fuck it, we're gonna keep it on. No, we're gonna take it off. <laughs> we're gonna take it off and we will put on something a little bit more real estate-ish. Okay, I think this is a little bit more my speed. Um, we love a good pinky nude, but that is a very, very, very pretty peachy nude. Wendy Wu, yes. That is so pretty. She kind of want to see the lip balms. I'm always looking for a good lip balm. Ooh, love the packaging, super slick. I don't even know why I tried to smell it. Can't smell anything. <laughs> Can't smell anything. Actually, you know what? Let's take this lipstick off, hold on. <laughs> now I wanna put the lip balm on. I might as well try, right? Here's my only complaint with the lip balm. Uh, as you put it on, it starts to go back down into the tube. And that's kind of annoying. It's like you're kind of erasing really fast to get it done. <laughs> it feels nice though, I like it. This one is in Aloha, feels really good. My lips look pretty hydrated and it feels comfortable on the lips, so that's good. These are probably gonna be things that I will probably leave at my desk. Ooh, this one has a color to it. So let's see, a very, very light pink color. So, although I don't feel like I notice it too much on the, oh yeah, just a little bit. There is a little bit of color and I like that. That's actually, I actually kind of think that's really pretty. I feel like maybe this bullet's defective because I didn't have that issue when applying this. It's not going down. I think maybe there's something wrong with the other bullet and that's why it's doing that, but this one's just fine. When I shake it, this feels like it's moving. This one doesn't. So there's obviously something wrong with my bullet, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. It's not a big fucking deal. But I really like that though. Actually, I wanna see if I put a little bit of gloss over it. You know what, dare I say, I actually really, really like how this looks. Even just with the lip gloss on and nothing else. I look pretty fucking cute. I love this lip gloss. There's just something nice about it. The best thing about it is that it's not sticky. So many times I have wasted money on gloss that I thought was good. And then as soon as the wind blows and my hair literally flies into my face, it's the worst feeling in the world to pull your hair out of your mouth. <laughs> it's disgusting. And I love that this just doesn't have that sticky feel. It's just, it's comfortable. And it lasts for a really, really long time. And it gives a really nice little glow. I think it's super cute. So I am a fan of this. All right, so let me pull you back a little bit because I feel like you're right in my face. So this is a completed look. I like it, super cute. Other than my face kind of being a little uh, splotchy red because of all the fucking coughing. I actually don't mind how I look. I think I look pretty cute. So let's start off with the first thing that we used, which is the, I don't know where it is. Ah, here it is. <laughs> okay, so the Creature of Light, the Soft Glow Enhancer. I love this. This is fucking great. I look like a sexy cyborg and throughout the amount of powder that I put on my face, you still see this very beautiful glow. I think the combination of the two is alien slut goals. Like you cannot get any better than that. So I'm curious to use this with some of my favorite foundations to see how this pairs, but I think trying it with a new product, I'm liking the results. I think this is really cool. You can't buy this now. <laughs> it comes in three different shades, but you won't see it until the summertime. So 
We'll talk more about that in the future, but I'm pretty fucking impressed though with this. This is pretty cool. Uh, moving on to the foundation. It's not really a foundation. I guess it's a skin tint, right? I don't know why I thought this was going to be more pigmented than what it is. I'm a little disappointed that the lightest shade is a little bit too dark for me. While it might look okay uh, on camera, there is uh, definitely a clear divide between church and state. Uh, <laughs> it's like a, a slightly kind of yellowish kind of an undertone, which is not my favorite undertone because it just makes me look sick. So I'm not a fan of that. You know, I think this is just okay. I think there was like moments of touch and go when I was putting it on my face. I was like, where the fuck is this going? I don't know where it is. And then it kind of started to look really dry on my nose without even putting any powder on my face. And I think that could have been totally a me error because I wanted to see how this would look if I built it up. But then again, I don't think so, Tam, because I only went over my nose like maybe once. I didn't put any really additional product on my nose. I just built it up on my cheeks and that's where I found all my like dryness was on my nose. So I don't think this is going to be something I would ever repurchase just off of initial thoughts. Of course I'm going to use this with just the thorn oil as well as some other primers just to see if maybe that's a better way to go. But um the mixture of these two products and this well yes I look like a glowy slut. Eh, I don't know I kind of was like I didn't feel like it gave me the proper coverage. There were moments where I was like is there even anything on my face? I wasn't a fan of that. However though I think adding the Bobbi Brown concealer to try to cover up some of the redness definitely did help. So for me immediately if I need extra coverage I'm gonna have to go that route which is totally fine because trust me I have so many skin tints that I've been loving lately and that's what I do and it's totally fine. The biggest difference between those skin tints versus this one is that I never once ever said with any of them, I don't think I have anything on my face. This one felt like I didn't have anything on my face until I did it the third time. It's kind of weird. So it's just like in some areas it looked like there was nothing on and in some areas maybe I built it up too much. I don't know. I, I got to keep playing with this but it's not winning any awards by any means and yeah. <laughs> I think out of the glowish line, this is probably my least favorite thing. Hmm. Oh well. Anyway, the next thing I want to talk about are the brushes from Lethal Cosmetics. So granted, I did not try all of them, but I did try a fair amount of them. I'll be honest and say that a lot of the eye brushes are just not going to work for my eye shape because they're definitely on the bigger side. Like this brush, this blending brush is literally bigger than my fucking eye space. So I'm going to have to try to figure out what's gonna be the best way to use them. But there are some interesting ones like this angled liner brush that looks super thin and amazing. The actual liner brush that came with the set was great. I like the big powder brush. I love the foundation brush. This is fantastic. The 120, I love the little weird kind of an angle. I felt like it did a really good job when I did see the product go on my face. <laughs> and dare I say, I actually like the fact that it didn't look like there was any brush marks. So I really didn't even really need a sponge. It wasn't until I added way too much product in some areas where it just looked like it was just wet. But I, I like this brush and I can't wait to continue to use it more. Love the powder brush, love the little blush brush, love the highlighter brush. I think my favorite brush though, besides the foundation one and the liner brush is this packing brush. This is perfect for shimmers. And I kind of like that it's small. So if you do have hooded eyes like myself, you don't have a lot of real estate. It's kind of like the perfect size to really just make like a nice like circular motion. It's very, very pretty. So far enjoying them. The the only one that I wasn't sure about was the bigger blending brush. I didn't like how it felt. The bristles were very much like moving too much. I didn't find that it was actually blending anything. If anything, it was just like, I was more annoyed with the fact that the bristles were just like, Ugh. And I was just like, I want them to be a little bit more firm and stay in place. And these were just like fucking going everywhere. So I did not like that brush, but I think for Lethal coming out with their first batch of brushes, I think they did a pretty good job. The bristles are incredibly soft. Y'all know, I I really like my natural hair brushes. Will I ever really make the change to just using these exclusively? No, I like my natural hair ones better, but for a synthetic option, I think these are fantastic. Of course, I wanna to continue to play with them because there are some that I haven't played with, but I will make an update at the end of the month to let you know like where I stand. But so far, there was just one brush that I was kinda of like, meh. And other than like the eye brushes not being the best for hooded eyes, everything else was really good. So I can't wait to continue to play with them. Now moving on to the eyeshadow palette. So I use the Evergreen, right? Is that what's this 
one was called. I never remember the name. Yep, the Evergreen. I only use one palette today because Mama got to get to work and I like this. So far, so good. Now, granted, I only use like what, four shades out of this whole bunch, maybe five. And I thought the mattes worked very beautifully together. Didn't experience any sort of patchiness or fading and they blended really perfectly. I'm giving you bog queen in the boardroom. It's my favorite look to go on a Zoom call. I look like I mean business and I'm also serving you bitch. And I like that. I really love the eye look that I created. I love a lot of these shimmers. I think they're really, really beautiful. And I love how bright this one down here is. He's He doesn't look like much in pan, but on eye, I was like, holy shit, okay, you are fucking here and you are making yourself known. So I like that. Um, I did add a little bit of green, just like on the outer corner of uh, from this shade. I didn't really notice a huge difference. So I'm kind of curious to try that again because maybe that was a fuck up on my part, but I kind of feel like those were kind of one and the same. There wasn't really any difference between the two. So that's like the only little thing I could say about this palette. But so far, everything has worked really, really well. I can't wait to use the other palette. I will include that in another video coming up. Listen, if you know Lethal, you know their shadows, you know what to expect. I'm liking it so far. The next thing is from Sean Sakai. This is the Lotus Perfect Blur Glow Powder. I I don't know how I feel about this. Um, I'm still in the same mindset that I don't know what the difference is between this and the Perfect Glow Powder, other than, you know, potentially being maybe, I don't really fucking know actually, to be honest with you. I don't know. I mean, granted this is like maybe a scotch lighter. I haven't really seen anything super glowy about this product. I feel like it kind of operates very much like this one. It's just a little bit lighter. It's a fine powder. I still like it. I think it applies really beautifully. I don't experience any issues with it. The glow piece I'm a little confused about. I haven't quite seen it yet. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna continue to use it and I'll update you at the end of the month, but like, like on one hand, I like it, right? Cause I love Shantikai powders. But on the other hand, I don't see the difference. I don't see it at all. So I purchased this one. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I would ever really need to purchase it again. I don't know, like I don't really see like, what is the, the diff? I don't know what the difference is. I don't see one other than clear color, which it's so funny because I could wear this and it doesn't bother me. Like I, it doesn't darken my foundation or anything like that. But like when I swatch it on my hand, it's very, very clear how dark this is, but works for me just fine. Um, yeah, this one, oh, I guess the only thing I could say is like, it's potentially just lighter. I kind of think it's the same. So yeah, I love the packaging. I think it's really pretty. I don't think it's super unique. It's still great formula because Shantikai really knows how to make powders for sure. But I guess in terms of it being different from the original blur powder, I don't see a fucking difference. So, so it's like good, but like, what's the difference? I don't know. The next thing is from Rare Beauty, the Enlightened Highlighter. Bitch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, th this is so glowy and this is so like blinding. And it's so funny because when I was looking at swatches of this, it didn't really look like much, but this is a very, very glowy, beautiful product. I am super impressed. I actually want to go into Sephora to see if any other shade works for me, but this is the Ferris one in Lighten. And this works great. If you are on Cooked Chicken, if you want an icy highlighter, that's your bitch right there. That's so fucking pretty. And it's not glittery. So if you don't like glitter bukkake, you don't worry, it's not gonna happen. This was really, really nice. I actually exceeded my expectations. Usually Rare Beauty is like hit or miss for me, and this was a fucking hit. And then last but not least, we have the uh, Christian On Deck collaboration with Jesse and Cassie. The box, I love this box, it's so pretty. I like the lip balms, I think they're very, very nice. They're gonna be something that I keep at my desk because I just always need to have either lip oil or lip balm on me at all times. My only complaint is that the one shade Aloha, as soon as I would use it, it would just start to like go back into the bullet. Probably the most annoying thing about it. Other than that, it felt fine. The shade Honey did not do that, so which makes me think that there's just something wrong with this bullet, whatever it is what it is. In terms of the lipstick uh, Wendy Wu, this is such a beautiful peach shade. It just didn't really go with my look today, hence why I don't have it on my face. Instead, I actually have the lip balm on, the honey one, and the um, Amethyst Sunrise Glow Gloss. Christian Audette makes beautiful glosses, and like I said before, if you're looking for like a non-sticky, beautiful gloss that is just so glowy and has great longevity, this is so good. Also, it doesn't bleed into the outer corners. Everything stays into place. It's perfect. So if you're looking for a good gloss recommendation, cannot recommend enough the glow 
glow glosses. Every one that I've tried has been fantastic. And I love, I just, I love Christian Audette because they are the queens of like basic bitch colors. And I love every fucking lipstick that they have pretty much put out. They're just so good. So if you're familiar with the formula of the lipstick, this is just like a really nice hydrating lipstick that was just super easy, super comfortable and super opaque. And um, if I wasn't having this eye look on, I would totally be wearing it. Uh, but unfortunately I'm a bog witch and it doesn't really go. But I love me a good like peachy nude. So yeah, I actually really like a lot of the stuff that I use today. I think the only thing that was kind of the outlier was this guy. I wanted more. I just wanted more. I'm gonna keep playing with it in hopes that it gets better, but uh, so far so good. Anyway, with that said, now I wanna hear from y'all. Let me know uh, down below if you have any of these products, if you love them, if you hate them, or if there is another product that you would like to see me talk about, let me know because I love hearing from you. Thank you again to Blissy for sponsoring today's video. And with that said, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and YouTube. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy. Really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, really disgusting actually. Garbage boat afloat, couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces and I just wanna gobble you all up so you can live inside my belly and we can be one and have a grand old time. If you wanna know what is currently on my face, everything you need to know will be listed in the description box down below and I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.